Yeah. Let's just get that out of the way. Master Ninja is an SS, yeah. right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like... Master Ninja is S. Master Ninja is S. Master Ninja is not SS. Any, like, you could take a random, you could take fucking, you could take, I could walk outside my goddamn door, look, go, go find somebody random, pull them up from the street, put their ass in Malignite, and they'd be a top, top 20% of the units in this game. Uh, you can't do the same thing for Master Ninja. You just, Master you Ninja, kind with of Master can, Ninja, though. you need to be. No, you can't do that with Master Ninja. Selena and, like, Baruka are, like, not good. Good in Master Ninja. Okay. They do not have the strength for it. Like you need to be more yeah. selective than you need to be with like you need, you Malignite. Need, need, but also, you need here's bulk, the thing: you need here's bulk of some <laughs> sort and strength of some sort, and you have to fulfill both of those conditions somehow. And yes, even on the units that are not great in it, like Lazo, you, like Lazo's bulk goes out into the fucking gutter when he goes to, um, uh, into Master Ninja. You can fix it. But you can fix anything in this game. You can you 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 can fix a fucking you, you can fix the U.S. national debt deficit in conquest by spamming fucking salvage blow on the Sigbert paralog. Just because oh, you can true. fix it doesn't make it like worth. Fi okay. Doesn't make it good. Okay. Counter argument. Okay. Counter argument. Right. <laughs> if you are a yeah. physical unit, how else are you getting unmitigated one to two range access? Like what other class? What class is doing a better job of giving you access to that than Master? Let me introduce you to my friend, Dual Vantage Attack Stance, where you just kill the enemy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me introduce sure, you to my friend. Not... Okay. Like you could just like enemy phasing. Like I, I just don't think enemy phasing is as I'm, enemy phasing one I'm... to two range. Like what, if you already have Xander, if you already have Leo, why the fuck do you need like if you already have Kazi? Why do you need so many more units? Like just play the goddamn game, dude. I just want to say, um, Master Ninja has Spy Shuriken access, which helps in Endgame, which is pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I'll say about I... Master Ninja is that it's good. Uh, it's like it's it's pretty good, and then also on top of that, it has pretty banging utility, like real talk. Like the plus one movement is fucks pretty hard, but also like on top of that. Like you get the plus five hit crit avoid crit avoid the crit is useless but the others are pretty good and also um, it has like it's obviously it's obviously a good class no one's gonna dispute that but i just like you need to be an already good unit to become a good master ninja otherwise you're just a master ninja which is decent but it's not going to be as good it's not as brainless as putting a unit into bone and also it's much harder to access the the access point i think is is the biggest point that Availability i agree problem. with because, yeah, like, at the end of the day, like, okay, it, like, it's, outside of corn shenanigans, it's Kaze, his friend, his wife, and, like, that's it. Like, and, and like, you could do stuff with Laszlo, too. And, and Midori, Laszlo's Soleil, you, it's you Soleil mainly, life. though, yeah. M Midori, if you We don't talk life. about Midori. We don't talk yeah. about Midori. We don't talk about Midori. I, I, I... Okay, before I actually got a good look at Midori's stats, I thought, Midori has to be good. You can access Ninja easily. And then I actually, like, recruited her. And like put her master ninja. I'm like, are these your stats? Yes. I married. I literally mar I married. I married Corin. I married Corin. What do you mean these are your stats? <laughs> You're so bad. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't so think bad. like master master ninja is just not like like Kaze makes it work because he's fucking broken. There's there's no reason he should have as much HP as he does and as much strength as he does being a master ninja and 85 percent goddamn. Kaze's speed. personal strength growth is 45 percent. Yes. Yes. Have you have you have you have you taken a look at Niles recently? Have you taken a look at Selena recently? Also, surprisingly, Selena has yes. the same personal strength growth as Kaze. Last time I checked, Selena doesn't have unrestricted hey, one to two range hey. access with a seven might weapon that she joins with at base. Hey, hey, hey. Also, also, I just want to point out that's only slightly less than Camilla's personal strength growth, which is fucking crazy. And also, Kaze gets like a free. Six to seven level ups, right? Branch right. of fate. The point I'm the point I'm trying to make here is that if Kaze makes it work well with forty five personal strength growth, I think it's more broadly applicable than you realize. I think it's just that units like Selena and Baruka have particularly bad strength I relative to the rest yeah, of the it, The reason that Kaze makes it work is because first of all, first of all, the one big thing that Kaze has going is that he has C rank shurikens minimum. That's insanely valuable as a starting off point because that's already giving you plus one attack from your weapon rank bonus. Well, and also, and also like starting on your weapon triangle bonuses, like he's gonna hit S rank shurikens. Pretty much no other unit in the game can say that you're gonna consistently hit S rank shurikens no matter what you do with them. And on top of that, he has like a bunch of free levels from the the the, the free levels and free weapon XP from uh, pre branch of fate. He has easy access to strength backs at backpacks, but you could uh, again you could argue that for everybody. But also his HP, his HP is pretty fucking good. If you put 
if you put Soleil into Mass Ninja, she's gonna have like a 27% HP growth. Like she her HP is pretty fucking bad in Mass Ninja. Kazing manages to have a pretty solid HP, like HP pool in Mass Ninja compared to the like the meme. That's why he makes it work. Uh, yeah, Master Ninja, see, see, to me, okay, I think because, okay, I think it does go in SS below the Wyvern classes. I oh, obviously below the Wyvern I'm classes. Putting it, I, I put it below Bow Knight, straight up. I definitely would not put it below Bow Knight. I would not put it below like, Bow Knight. All, like, actually, okay, the Hunter's Knife is pretty, the thing no, is, also, like, yeah, the also, the, the Hunter's Knife is, like, my pick for one of the best weapons in the well, like, game. Ka like, the, you need to understand that Kaze is, driving up the, Kaze is driving up the average here to an absurd degree. Hunter's sure, Knife but... literally kills everything that like that a bow does. Like, it literally... Like, like, the, like the Venn diagram of the things that the Hunter's Knife deletes and things that the bows delete bows is literally a deal with two, berserkers, co dude. two co-centric circles. Literally, bow that's the Venn diagram. Dude, Bow, Knight's, bow can deal with Berserker. A Hunter's Knife will not let you deal with a Berserker. That's true. Okay, <laughs> sure, but here, here's my thing. Is like Hunter's Knife, especially... Hunter's Knife is really good, especially because of the composition of the enemies in a lot of the Conquest chapters, particularly from, like, 18 onwards. There's, like... For most flyers. classes, it's, it's just, there is it's like flyers and, and shit. It's flyers. Eighteen has paladins. Nineteen has furries, and then it's just flyers, flyers, flyers. Yeah, flyers. And then like end game has like paladin. bow knights, dark knights, and paladins. And I, yeah. I just don't think I just don't think it's that like the the of uh, first like availability is already bad enough, and then the units that like get it also have to work to make it work like correctly. Like si oh, like so Silas as a ninja. Like if you just put him in ninja, you don't give him soul. He's just like a pretty, he's like a pretty good unit, but he's nothing like, he, like he's basically doing what Xander does. He's basically just doing what Xander does. And Xander doing what Xander does, but he <laughs> also he's has doing like what Xander does, but he's doing what Xander does, but worse. So like you're just having like a second, like this is like the ninth Xander shit that they do in Cypher. Oh but then, god, don't like, remind Kaze me. Like it work because well, he has the unique niche of having general, stupid res as well on top of that, and also like untouchable speed. I just don't think it's like the the lack of the lack of ex accessibility plus the lack of uh, applicability. I think makes it not as good as I, like me personally. Um, actually, you know what? I did, I just took took a look at this. You know what? Fuck it. Put it in SS. I just realized that. Wait, wait. What did you just realize? Because I, I was gonna put Bonite in SS, but then like I forgot Bonite is not in SS anymore, so it just doesn't count. So well, well, and also a couple things. So. Master Ninja, so I, I I think you're giving it a little, not enough credit for its applicability, because I, th I think more units who are physically oriented work as a Master Ninjas than you realize, but I will agree that the availability issue, like the, the fact that at the end of the day, like you have to be Kaze or go through Kaze to get it, like I do think that holds it back. I, I think I think straight like, up it's like right here. Like I I feel like it's like a it, it's uh, almost like a core in marriage. It's a very very contested resource. It is, but isn't the fact that it's contested doesn't that make Master Ninja really good? The fact that it's no a contested the, the, thing. The, you know, like fucking uh, the the just because it's like just because it's contested doesn't make it like broken. It just means that it's good. And Master Ninja is obviously it is. good. Well, but, right, but that's like, why I'm putting also, it like, at the top of real talk. S. Other than other than like like if you if you like obviously ignore corn because corn. Like corn gives everybody access to everything. Like other than Kaze, Soleil, Silas, and even then Soleil and Silas, you gotta work on it for them to be like pretty, uh, like as, reach their actual potential. Like there's like there's other units that get access to the class. There's, none of them are like nearly anywhere as good as those three. I I, I think, think sniper should be in the same tier as Master Ninja. Wait, what should sniper? Listen, I I I agree. I like I I I'm there with you, but uh, this is gonna drive this video out even further. And I don't think we're ready for that consequence. Listen, we'll we'll, we'll get to it at the end. How about this? We'll do that at the end, okay? I will. Yes. I will okay, start okay. reading Green Eggs and Ham live in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start reading Green Eggs of Happiness, and we can just mind flood everybody. Okay. How do you, okay. Like, I actually wanna I actually wanna scope out the people. How do you guys feel about adventure? Like, how good do you guys think adventure is? It's uh, just there for the I don't. It's like I don't. Yeah, I think. B or C. Or it's not. It's like because like okay, why would you go? Skills, 
But also, I think the skills are pretty fucking good. Like, real tough. Okay. Right? Movement plus one. Movement uh... plus one. Lock touch are both bangers. Lucky seven is okay. pretty damn good. And pass lets you like, helps you out on endgame. So, like, Here's okay, like, you're but getting forward. Question. But question. You're yeah. only getting this from Outlaw, right? So, yes. if you're in an Outlaw... Yeah. Mo nine times out of ten, why would you not just go Bow Knight? Yes, well, because of the magic that... again. Like obviously, like Vex knows a lot about it's Shining Bow Nix. Point. Your ass is never going Bow Knight with Shining Bow. So, Nicks, so that's you the need thing, right? That it's magic, like... and you need that. Okay, um, so that's a use case of one. And also, the pair up's better. Mm. The pair up's better. You get more speed, and uh, you get more speed off. The pair up is not just Nix, though. I'd argue it's that a lot of a lot of Ninas are also wanting to go adventure over Bow Knight. I would argue. Um, like, even th even with, like, a physical mother, like, Camilla Nina is going to have, like, surprisingly I... solid magic and still just really good stats overall to where, like, I would rather have Adventurer because I of... I would still rather have Bonite, but, like, Adventurer Nina, um, Adventurer Camilla Nina is going to be good. Yeah, well, but also Lucky Seven, like you mentioned, and also, mm -hmm. like, um, just the fact that... It, it allows for a bit more flexibility because it offers more magic, so, like, it it takes advantage of the ability for that Nina to use both like, physical bows and shining bow. Whereas like, with, with, like, you, in Bow Knight, you can still do it, but it's definitely going to be, um, you're limiting the potential of, of your shining bow usage. And also, we're all, like, like, action economy pilled, but, like, having an extra staffer is just always nice. It is nice, yeah. yeah. I put it in, like... B. I, I, I also think, think B. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait. I actually, okay. I actually want to scope this out. I wanted to scope this out with uh, Master Ninja. How do we feel about Mechanist? I feel okay. Here's the thing. Mechanist, I think, is a class that like 1.5 units make work, but those units fucking cook in Mechanist. I um, yeah. I mean, I feel the same way about Mechanist. The same way you Brainiac just said about Adventurer, where it's like nine times out of ten, you're going master ninja i actually don't anyway. know if that applies i actually do not know if that applies i feel like with soleil i'd much because... rather be soul mechanist than soul master ninja because she needs the all with... the bugs she can get yeah the thing with mechanist is that it has more attack and it's bulkier so there are units who would actually take that trade off like selena for example it's... right selena in really master cool. ninja is basically untenable because selena she have let me let me let me oh. let me editor let me help you out here selena is basically <laughs> untenable you, I thought you agreed that Selena was whatever. Nah, I'm just, I'm, um, yeah, I'm just fucking around. Yeah, but yeah, you, you get the point though, right? Selena in Mechanist can just about make it work because of the extra strength, but in Master Ninja, it doesn't work, right? No, actually, like, yeah. Mechanist is like an alternative Master Ninja with overall fewer benefits, but works for certain units that just don't have enough strength. I feel like you fuckers don't get to talk about Mechanist because like the real god Mechanist is Shura. He got like Shura for the Shura either goes into Bow Knight. Like his class at the end of the day is Bow Knight or Mechanist. He picks between Bow Knight and Mechanist. That's the he doesn't really pick between like, it's not like Master Ninja versus Mechanist for him. It's like Bow Knight versus Mechanist. Because if you're going Master Ninja, like you're you're going Master Ninja. There's no you're real right. like, I, I don't I can't speak on this because I always do Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. Like you you guys don't get to talk. Like Mechanist Shura fuck he goes pretty hard. He maintains his Bow rank, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Um. He also gets like he also gets his shuriken rank, which is pretty good. You can get access to his other skills from his reclasses, but like Mechanist is just good. Like I, yeah. it's a, it's a, you get two of the like again, it's a seven movement class with two of the best weapon types in the game. I feel like you just can't go wrong with that. Yeah. I, I also I will like say though, I will. I will say though, the pair up and the skills are worse compared to Master Ninja. The pair up is oh, okay, good. but it's it's nothing really good or it's nothing really great or special. Um, Mas Master Ninja has Shuriken Fair, which is late game only, but is very good in the late game, especially for like Kaze, where it's I mean, like just plus Replicate 10 damage. Replicate is also good, I just don't think that we all are able to like properly assess the value of Replicate. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Replicate, Replicate, see the thing to me is, it's really good on like two types of units to me, which is like, the, it it's really good on like your utility units, right? Like say Felicia, who can just like, use one of her like one of them can flame shirk in an enemy and the other can use a staff or it's really good on a unit with really good player phase offense like okay now my sniper just i just have a second sniper now yeah, you you have the you have the quad you have the four you have the you have the four attacks from a crescent bow sniper and then two attacks from their from their attack stance 
Also, also uh, you can also you can crescent bow with one. You get your strength halved. Attack with the second one, and now they're both back to normal. Which yeah, is it's kind of it, it does yeah. cook. But I'm like, gonna be like, honest. If, if I was yeah, drunk, yeah. you could convince me to put Mechanist and Master Ninja directly next to each other. To be honest, I I I'm willing to do it. Like yeah. like okay the, the 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 okay the big use case difference there is Kaze because Kaze does not like going Mechanist compared to Master Ninja. I think Kaze is kind of fine in either. Kaze like he's likes fine, having but the like overkill prefers, speed. Because because the thing is like okay there are like Kaze the the thing with Kaze is that like he like there are points where he is the best unit in the fucking game no questions asked and there are points where he's very very hard to use and it's pretty down to enemy like enemy types patterns variety stuff like that. Master Ninja gives him more stuff that he can do when he's not the best unit in the game. Mechanist doesn't. It just basically makes him always. A slightly more strong version of himself with slightly less lopsided matchups, which I think is not a good trade-off because the movement bonus and the speed bonus from Master Ninja is very good. I I think Mechanist is well, and also we have to we have to recognize that if we're penalizing um, Master Ninja for its uh, opportunity cost, like its availability, we have to do the same for Mechanist. Oh, they have the exact same availability. Yeah, basically. except for except for Midori, Midori, but also that's Midori. So and also she yeah. only has access to Master Ninja. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true too. I forget I about mean, that think, sometimes. I, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, no, never mind. Because, 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 because it's Master of Arms, or I was thinking the Mozu had access to it, but it's Master of Arms versus Merchant. Never mind. Yeah. Um. Zeno mm. has access to Ma 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 Mechanist. Zeno has. Wait, what? What? He's an apothecary. Oh, he's seven, an apothecary. Eight, For some uh, reason, I thought he was an outlaw. Eight. No, you're right. Um. Sent top ten like, Zeno gaming it moments. It is like one of the. The things that the big difference is of Master Ninja and Mechanist. Lucky Seven. Yeah, exactly. It it helps Seno and Mechanist. Okay, true, I mean, but are we really gonna argue that yes, Seno is no, making a difference here? Seno Mechanist use case is not why we're putting Ma yeah. Mechanist where we're putting it. Just put it uh, just put it above Source one time between Bonite and Sorcerer, dude. I, I it, it pains me it pains me to put so mechanist funny. above sorcerer but i'll i'll do it um okay um yeah okay um, are there any other classes that okay. we are putting in why would you there is one yeah. that i and it's what were they thinking when they made blacksmith yeah no but well you can get infinite gold with it that's pretty cash money <laughs> yeah you can no, get blacksmith infinite gold with it if you spend an infinite number of turns on siegbert's parallog yeah, and alternatively, a, I could just use my system. Yeah. It's not like the fuck. It's not like Slenderman's gonna come out of the fucking closet and eat alternatively, you. Alternatively, I could just turns. move my system clock forward and also get infinite money. Yeah, that's easy. the thing. And also, yeah, I don't care about turn count either. But it's like also just what well, it's it's yeah, literally. I, I, I looked really this up cares. last night. Uh, well, the, okay. The one thing is okay. The one time I've actually used blacksmith, May. like the one time I've used blacksmith is um. Uh, I did Oni Corrin so I could get at least into Oni Chieftain, and I was like, my ass is- I, I, I did Midas Magic, because I can't be fucked doing magic. Because I'm like, if I'm getting my horse spirit, I'm gonna put it on Leo, why the fuck would I also want to use Tomes on Corrin? So I was like, okay, I go into Blacksmith, I keep my Yato Axis, and also I still have my Axis. And it was- it was okay. But like, being Hero, when Hero already kind of sucks ass, is just dumb as fuck. So, so that's ex that's the I, thing, I, right, I is- is-, is I was looking this up last night, I was- I was comparing the stats last night, because I was curious. In terms of base class bases and growths, blacksmith is literally hero, and people already yeah. love to shit on hero in fates. Except, hero oh, at least has it, soul and axe breaker, which are right. like situationally good, but good in those situations. Whereas, well, okay, Vex Vex has something to say about hero, and we will get to that when we get to hero. But we're talking about blacksmith. Yeah, right blacksmith now. is literally oh. the same as hero, but like with worse skills, and also the swapped around. Uh, Weapon caps, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Like, and also horrible availability. Yeah. Also that. Yeah. Also way worse availability than hero. Like way, not not way worse. Way like, way, it's way, not, way, okay. way 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 worse availability. Yeah, it's not like Master Ninja where you have to like commit a specific like marriage or friendship to Kaze. It's like no, you need to commit your Korin's Heart Seal class. Yeah, and uh, and if you don't, it's just it's like Kumagera and like a generic enemy blacksmiths. And shit, <laughs> generic and enemy, okay, which appear in one chapter, is, by the way. <laughs> Kumagera blacksmith is cool, but I feel like the value of being an Oni chieftain and being able, like his magic is like okay. I feel like uh, at base at least. I feel like the also he has certain blows, so you can just throw the 
bolt axe on him and he'll just make it work. Yeah. Um. Well, well blacksmith helps with his enemy phase because like it's like so much more hit than Oni Chifton. I, I I suppose so. Sure. Uh, but also like I, I feel like okay. I I just think the blacksmith is fine to put in. Why would you? I would still. I would not put it above Nor Noble. No, because, because like, here's Nor the thing. Oh. Here's the thing. Nor Noble has better combat than Blacksmith. Like, that is I've just gone true. Nor Noble, ironically. Yeah, no. Um, like, if it weren't for availability, I, I would put it in B or A alongside Hero. So, you know. Yeah, though I have a feeling most of us aren't going to want Hero in B or A. If, which... your is putting, if your ass is putting Hero in A and you try to put Paladin below that, I'm literally going to cancel you on Twitter. No, I will. <laughs> I will. I oh will. boy! Here's okay, oh okay, boy. okay. Can't Let's talk about hero. hero. Let's boy. talk about hero. I don't know where to put this class. Uh, I feel like hero, like when it's thing. when it's good, it's pretty fucking good. When it's ass, when is it's it good? Really when is hero good? Xander, Xander. Okay, that's Xander being built. Xander has a one no, no, to two no, no, range sword. Xander, Xander literally no, no, cheats no, no. the But system. the thing is, but the thing is, Xander in hero, like hero specifically gives Xander what other classes cannot give him. That is true. A, 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 a foot sword class that's not weak to like beast effective damage and also i will say like the skill like the skills that we're talking about right because they're not the most widely applicable oh. but they are useful um axe breaker the late game of conquest like has a from like a when, when you enter hoshido pretty much till the end there are a surprising amount of like enemy oni chieftains and berserkers where yeah, axe breaker is going like, to help the, like a lot of them have like certain blow and shit so i feel like you're taking them having like 70 hit to them like not them them having like 85 hit to them having 35 hit which i feel That's like it's not an improvement a, yeah but like i just feel like they like axe breaker like i still think that the skills of hero are pretty decent but i don't think axe breaker is as big of a deal as like we're making it out to be i don't, it's not, know. I don't I think it's like, huge like, but i think it I is like solid, like solid. I feel like when you look at the enemy composition, Axe Breaker is probably the most relevant breaker skill, because Sword Breaker almost never comes into play. Yeah. Bow Breaker comes into play sometimes. Shuriken Breaker is literally one map. Lance Breaker is a blacksmith skill, so we're pretending that one doesn't exist. And like Tome Fair, Tome Breaker is the other good one. Yeah, like Tome and Axe Breaker are the best breakers, I think. And Sorry about that. What did you say, Vex? I don't think any of the breakers are that useful. Like I think sword like, break. I mean, sword breaker literally making it so you don't have, you mean? never have to play chapter twenty five is pretty fucking useful. I'd say. It, it, what do you it, mean by that? I don't know. I think I think the breakers aren't like huge. Like they're not like top tier skills, but they're like fairly useful when they, you know, when they're relevant. Like yeah, you See, get them like, in the late I game, but that's when they're most relevant. I'd argue. My, what I'm thinking is right. Like my 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 thing with breakers is the way I like to use breakers is that, um, like obviously even if you use a breaker and you're at weapon triangle disadvantage, the damage you take is not going to be equal. But if you fight enough combats with the breaker active, it's going to normalize to the point where you are going to be taking less damage because enough enemies are going to miss you. Yeah. So when I think of the like the the essential mm -hmm. late game conquest enemy comp of sorcerers berserkers and generals uh the way what axe breaker gives you is the ability to like theoretically speaking use a blue weapon against the uh general uh the general plus sorcerer diaspora and still have like decent like hit against but then that just doesn't or work because the berserkers have s rank axe bonuses and you just kind of get shit on well what i'm even thinking is just like the um even like the berserker general room at the bottom of 26 right like taking a like a bulky axe unit and like putting axe breaker on them and like they can take a a good amount of the general hits and then they're they're going to take some of the berserker hits but not all of them and that can give them like a reason uh, like a pretty good chance of just like helping you That's out and like surviving I was thinking on about that. like the the forest paralog enemy like distribution yeah the, the four, like well, the, the forest paralog one is is rough game. because of the of certain blow. I'll agree. I don't I don't like the idea of dodge tanking just in the, in general. And if you reach zero percent hit rates from them, then they just ignore you, which is pretty bad. I agree yeah, that I'm dodge like, rely, relying on dodges is bad. But like, let's say like let's say that you have a let's just assume that we run on one RN because otherwise it's going to be fucking confusing. Let's assume that uh, an enemy would have a. Uh, 85 hit on you right an enemy would have 85 hit on you that means that if 85 enemies attacked you i mean if 100 enemies attacked you with 85 hit 85 of them would uh, hit you now if you need to if you take all 100 of those enemies in one enemy phase and 
you need to dodge exactly 15 of those to survive, then that's not a good proposition. But if you need to dodge, like, if you need to dodge, if you, if you can survive 80, like, if you can survive, like, 93 enemies, and you need 7 enemies to miss you, like, that's pretty good. Like, I just feel like when you make the numbers bigger, relying on dodge tanking, like, dodging plus tanking is valuable. That's yeah, why I do that, that is my thought, is, like, if you can reliably dodge some of the enemies and tank the rest, like, that's when a void becomes useful. Um, and that's also, like, so let's with, not gloss uh, over, like, soul isn't, like, I mean, like you said, and I think Zoran I said care it, about too, like, soul, a lot more. soul makes a great unit busted, not a good unit great, but, like, I don't really agree, but Let's just move I on. think with Soul, I care about Soul a lot more than I care about Axe Breaker, to be honest. I, I do it's too, but that's comes... also because I do Soul strats a lot, but I, I don't think Actually, it's like... Guys, I want to hear why Vex likes Hero so much. Also, yeah, I'm curious. Uh, I, I just like Hero for the Axe Axis, and also very high skill. I will say, um, it... I do think people overblow, because the thing about Hero to me, that puts it in one of the lower tiers, like, I'm thinking C or B, because the thing about Hero is, like, there is nothing special about this class, right? It is a six-move infantry class with swords and axes, with two skills that are useful sometimes, but not amazing. Like, there's nothing special about it, but I think people... It has low. It has hit. It yeah, has good hit, but there are other classes with good hit with other better qualities, like Sniper, and the Sorcerer, and Bow Knight, and what? Master Ninja, you know? like Sorcerer does not have better hit than Hero, dude. You're living in a fantasy world. Not better hit, but, like, good uh, hit, just... what I mean. Especially if you factor in Heartseeker. Like, what what yeah, I'm saying is, like... it as well with the Axe Axis, though. Because, like, if you're using Axes, you want hit, right? Sure. And that's what Hero has, hit. I, mean, I you, suppose you can say the same thing about Wyvern Lord, but like, you know, is Wyvern Lord. I the think thing I'm trying to get at is that it's the most like reliable combat axe class that's not named Wyvern Lord. Yeah, you can use Kodachi, you can use Hand Axe, you can use Steel Axe. It's it's very nice. Yeah, the thing is right? to me is like I do think people shit on Hero a bit too much because I think the fact that it's not like super like not super special in a lot of ways makes people think it's like bad combat. It does, but, like, like, there are a lot of instances where you can have a hero and they are going to put in work, but... Can I just, can I just be honest here? This is the dumbest shit I've ever said, probably. Um, right. when a unit, when I look at their stat line and there's one stat poking out and it's skill, I fucking hate it. And that's why I hate hero. So, <laughs> when you promote Laszlo into hero, oh, yeah. that's what happens to his stat line. When you promote oh, Arthur into hero, that's what happens to his stat line. When you promote, ba like, when you promote Selen into hero, all of her stats are shit anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, when you, like, because if you're going hero, her stats are not going to be good. Let's be real here. If you promote Silas into hero, that's pretty much what her stats are going to be like. Like, I don't like that kind of, like, I think that the, the units, the axe units that are like, oh, I really like being in hero because it's good and accurate, are like, they're kind of few and far between. Like, Charlotte can kind of make use of it. Um, if you're using like first combat. everyone, though. Yeah, it's like, like Arthur, maybe. Valuable. Like... I don't know. I I think it's I think it's pretty definitively for me in in C tier. Like it is. I would never rate it below adventurer. I would put it below adventurer any day of the week. I don't know about. I think I, think I would also put it below adventurer, but I think there are enough units that I like less than hero to put it in B tier, because I do like getting soul for the <laughs> of adventure. Okay, you know what? Like, Actually, yes, because like I'm, I'm looking I'm down at this list, and there's still some classes there that I would say are, like, in there. C. There I would put Berserker in the same tier as Hero. That, okay, I, I cannot abide by that idea. I disagree with that one. Can I, can I say something, though, Vex? Like, is the, is the, is the one point, okay, one, let me just count this. This is 1.5, uh, is the three extra hit from being in hero really like is it that game changing like compared to going to berserker and having better comp like better strength and better you know like better strength it's and better backpack pack? yeah better backpacking pack and better pack. skills well i'm not really like including backpacking for combat but okay main point is berserker has 
less defenses. It has the minus five dodge applied mm -hmm. innately, and f like if if it's gonna be like for enemy phase, hero is better. It's just more of a more flexible and general kind of class, you know. I mean, my my response to the minus five dodge thing is you're in fates. Use a bronze weapon. But also, like, I, no, well, I do get what they mean. Like, when you're trying to, like, the thing, the nice thing about having big strength as an action unit is that you can walk up to a general, hit him with a hammer, and they take 75% of their HP and damage, and you feel really good. With Berserker, there's a chance you could just fucking get crit and die. Even then, there's, like, other, there's other ways to get crit avoid. Like, there's, um... I, I guess, I guess both Vex and I are also just used to not being paired up that often, so everybody just has more crit on us. That is true as well. Yeah. I I don't know. I also, think that Berserker is is bonuses are very helpful. Sorry, what? A uh, Mozu and Elise hit uh, support bonuses are very helpful for uh, dodge. It's not like like completely it erases the problem, but it does help. Listen, I would put I would put Hero in B. I would put Berserker in A. That's my take. I yeah, I I think Berserker I like is take. better is definitely like a tier better. I think I think Hero goes below Adventurer to like to be completely honest. I, I think the two range is valuable. Yeah, and also like bow like bows and staffs is just better than swords and axes to me. Like like that is just a better combination to have. Okay, but Adventure has way worse stats and like everything. Like Except speed. For speed. I mean, yeah. adventure, has, adventure, has, adventure has good speed and like good skills. So, I, like, and good res like, and give movement on para. The fact that you have a lot of movement can make up. For, like, you can use your you can use your brain to make up for your stats sometimes. And staves can't forget about staves. Staves are good. It's kind of, adventure is like locked to shining bow, and then not really. You can really you can use the bronze bow as as an adventurer. You would net you would never because you would just go into bow knight instead if you're just a physical bow user. But like exactly just because you use just because magic bow is best in adventurer and like being an adventurer means that you use magic bow doesn't mean that I don't think that like you should just well fuck it. Whatever. It, it doesn't you, mean you, you have to. I'm fine use with it, putting yeah. hero above. Honestly, I'm fine with putting hero above adventure. Like, Adventure has, like, four base strength. That's, like, pitiful. What are, like, what, you what's your thoughts, Brady, on, on this? I mean, Master Ninja also has four base strength. Oh, how do I feel about Hero over Adventure? I don't know. I, I think they're both Master niche, Ninja is has, the like, thing. It. Yeah, I, I don't know. I... Adventure has, like, nothing. Just speed. The hit things fucking the hit suck. The fact that you, have, you don't have great... Like the fact that you ha don't have great, um, y you don't have great skill, but also your luck is only like a little bit above average is not good. It's not a good look. Yeah, I hate also, to be that guy to throw anecdotes. Those also helps a lot. Yeah, I hate to be that guy to throw anecdotes into it. Uh, I know, cringe. I'm gonna lose all. I'm gonna lose all five subscribers that I have. It's okay. Um, I did it earlier. You're fine. Yeah. Um. Whenever I'm playing the game. I'm almost never using either of these classes, but I'm at least using Hero for like the five seconds it takes to get Soul, whereas I'm almost never putting anyone in Adventure ever for anything. So, I, I guess ah. from that angle, you would I could put Hero above Adventure. Yeah. But I, I think if you like lay all of their qualities out, it's like at the bare minimum, Adventure has a movement pair up and staves and like can kill flyers dead i guess and hero is just a generic combat class that gets outdone in combat by yeah him. that like that is basically like, okay. my thought okay time for hot take simulator i think one of paladin yeah. or great knight should be in a tier oh, i could still okay. advocate for paladin a paladin a makes perfect sense i i actually i actually, I actually am on the other paladin. camp i think it makes more sense for great knight I, am I think one of them. I think one of them deserves to be an A tier. The thing with Paladin is like, yeah, two range, lack of great two range. It, it, it's pretty bad in Conquest. Like, I'm, I use Parry. I know it fucking sucks at times. But the thing is, like, having eight movement is pretty. It's like, like obviously, yeah, duh, movement is good. But like, you'd be surprised. Yeah, like new slash guys, guys, movement is good. Like, dude, have you guys heard about this? Like, movement's pretty good. <laughs> movement's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. The fact that you just get like the fact that. First of all, lances, nobody in this goddamn universe in Conquest uses lances except for the Beast Killer. Let's just get that out of the way first. Second of all, you get a free javelin. 
So like if you you could you could theoretically like afford a javelin plus two. That's not like it's like eleven might or some shit like that. Um, and you've got it's got like decent hit. Like you can dual strike kill with like one to two range, like pretty easily. Like your range combat is it does it's not that it's non-existent. It's that it's limited. But like you can you can work around it much easier because of the fact that the movement affords you more flexibility. The thing with Great Knight is that the damage output is higher, and the and the fact that you can access access even makes your damage output even higher on top of that. But the trade off is that your flexibility is a little less is, is a little diminished because your movement is less. I will and, say, um, hold on, I'm just real quick comparing the uh, class bases. Um, oh. yeah. I know, I know, so like, I'm I'm looking at the class like, bases. Like, I will say. Yeah. Outside of movement, Great Knight class spread or stat spread is just better. Like, I'm looking here, two more HP, two more strength. Skill, skill, skill. skill, skill one skill, less, skill. it's one less skill. It's not a big deal. One less magic, but who cares? Three more defense. Like, the biggest deal here is, like, one less speed and three less res, and, like, that's it. But also, skill. like... Outside of, like, parry, your paladin isn't really going to have, like, that high res anyway. Um, mm. And, like, for parry, she can make it... She's probably just going to be fine even in Great Knight, because the res is, like, decent. Yeah. Um, like, and also, Great Knight... One, one, big, one big thing that I think makes Great Knight, in my opinion, better than Paladin, that pair-up is really good, and... I don't... My problem with Great Knight pair-up is two strength, four defense makes my dick limp as fuck. Four strength, two defense, okay. you're talking. Two strength, four defense makes me want to go to bed and never wake up. There are some units, though, where it's like, it, you definitely... And one movement. Like, let's not... Like, also the movement, I right? Mean, the, the movement is obviously always good. But, like, I just don't like two strength, four defense as opposed to four strength, two defense. Like, if if the option was there. Like, I definitely would prefer, like, the Wyvern pair up of 3-3 three, three, um, to the 2-4 uh, pair up. Yeah, but, like, is... Okay, like... Cause, Cause, the thing is, like, okay, yeah, Wyvern Lord versus Great Knight pair up, like, it's the same. It's just, why, Great Knight takes one of that strength and puts it into defense. What, like, does that actually make it that much worse, though? Like, if Wyvern pair up is great, Great Knight pair up is also great. Like, because they're basically the same. Mm -hmm. Like, and also, Buster. like, you just the the class. I, I will say also, um. It's not, like, the the best skill that either of them get is Defender, Defender from Paladin. Yeah. But even then, like, the, the skills aren't really that much of a factor here. Like, the real reason you go into either of these is for Elbow Room and Shelter. Which, if, like, if Cav was on this list, it would be, like, okay, higher like, than both can of I just, them. Can I, can I posit something? Like, if you add okay. in Defender plus the class base difference, uh, I'm pretty sure the difference between Great Knight and... Uh, Paladin is four hit, which is four hit is to the point where it's significant. Like yeah, you need to consider that. It's notable. Um, wait, is is hit is is every point of skill two hit or is it one point five? And so 1. 5. there's one more skill, one from um one from defender, so that's two, so that's th that three two times one point five is three, and then one more luck, and then one more luck from defender, so that's that luck divided by two, so that's one, so three plus one is four. Oh, okay, I see, I, I see. I was like I wasn't thinking about the luck. Um. It's four hit. I I suppose I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I'm fine I with know. both of them being in the I, same real tier, talk. Like I feel like they're both like... dead ass like the same class. I I I feel like this is a very well designed class split for Cavalier. Where like like you you need to assess the situation of your run right now. You need to look at your party. You need to realize what you're going to do with the run and you need to make the decision for yourself at that point in time. I think they're both just fine. If I had to give the edge to anyone, I would give it to a Great Knight by a little bit because um, it has access to access and access, uh, access to access. 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 Access, access to access, to dust to dust. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah. It means that you have a hammer access, and hammers are pretty good. Yeah, I, I also um, like okay. I agree, and also like what I said about hero earlier, I think applies to paladin and great knight. Where, like, yeah, they're not as good in conquest as like a lot of these ones up here, but people think that means they're really bad when they're not really bad. Like, I like what I'm thinking right now is is this right? Like this arrangement, which I think is fair. That's pretty. That's that's. Reasonable as fuck, to be honest. That's okay. pretty. Where are we putting? With hero. 
Where are we putting Berserker? Like, oh, um, no, sorry, sorry, Vex. You, you said something, Vex? Please go for it. I would swap Great Knight and Paladin with the uh, hero. That's all. Uh, I... I don't see I it. Know, not like Dude, you're not even the one that beat Endgame with only heroes. If Blue is here, I would trust him. I don't have enough. I don't have <laughs> enough uh, video evidence to su let you support this. Yeah, true. Okay, um, I have a run going right now where I have Arthur and Hero and also Corrin and Hero. I like both of them. <laughs> to be fair, Corrin it's, does it's make Hero nice, look know. better than it is because it's Corrin. But like Cor Hero Corrin is like surprisingly solid. Yeah, but like if you're going hero corn, why are you not going bow knight corn? Like real talk, um, but like I, I, okay, listen, we like we can talk about. It. I, I think where are we, I, I would put berserker between maid and sniper. I was thinking the exact same thing, either that or right above sniper. Um, I, I would. Uh, my ex is not putting that shit above sniper. I you would definitely put it above sniper. No, no. I would okay, put sniper if above. you're. Even if your Berserker isn't doing anything combat-wise, it still has Rally Strength, and Rally Strength is immensely helpful. Rally and strength can I say something? Cool. Can I say something? Your Sniper is never not doing something combat-wise. Your Sniper is always murdering foes. There is no world in which your Sniper is not absolutely annihilating the enemies. Here's the thing, like, well, Berserker to me fun. is... is It's combat... It's, it's got the really good strength, but its combat isn't as good as, like... You know these sniper. classes up it's, here it's in the top two It's not as tiers. good as sniper, like real talk. You could put fucking Nyx into sniper, use her as a physical sniper, and she's going to be bad. She's going to actually kill enemies because sniper is just that good. I, um, well, yes. So, so sniper, I do think has the better combat, and also because like bows are a better weapon type than axes in this game. But, but the edge that I would give to to berserker is it has the better pair up, and it has the better not well better skills is debatable, but very good skills like. Rally Strength is a very good utility skill. Axe Fair, like, you are going to want Axe Fair on units like Arthur and Camilla and yeah. just... Okay, let me, let me pause this for you, okay? Good. Like, the, the, the pair up between Berserker, obviously Berserker has a better pair up, but like, it's not as different as you would consider it. The difference between Berserker and Cypher is that you're giving up three strength for three skill, which is a pretty fucking reasonable trade. It's obviously not a great trade, but it's it's not a trade where you're like, man, this is the worst trade I've ever done ever. Like when you're going to, Bers like the difference between Basara and the uh, Miyoji pair up. No, it's not a blowout at all. It's a pretty reasonable trade. And uh, like, again, uh, act Berserker has an innate suffering from success coefficient, which First of all, it has plus 20 crit, which fucking sucks. It has minus 5 yeah. crit avoid, which fucking sucks. Uh, it uses axes, which just have it, like, innately, like, worse hit than other weapon types. Like, you're, like, it's a class that's, like, innately setting you up to fail. Sometimes. Yeah, and I like, also will say, like, the extra um... crit on Sniper isn't gonna harm you nearly as much, because Sniper isn't gonna suffer from success. It's a... Player and also class. sniper sniper like the like the with axis there's three at least three really good axes in conquest bronze axe plus two dual club hammer with sniper and there's hand it, axe. yeah hand axe is also hand pretty axe. good but with sniper it's like it's bronze bow plus two almost the entire game exclusively like that the, so you're not you're not like if you don't unless you want to suffer from crit you're not going to suffer from crit. Eh, even then like i would argue like um like obviously crescent bow late game but then also like um, mini bow, mini bow sometimes, and then like steel, like forge steel can actually be pretty good on the units who are like fast and don't care about the speed penalty, like Niles. Yeah, but like, why would you like? He's in sniper already. What what more could you possibly want from him? He's already killing <laughs> enemies with the bronze. Yeah, like sniper, I don't know. I like the thing I is like yes, yes, more, yes. Yeah. Berserker has more strength than sniper, but like in reality, most of the time, Berserker actually has some e 9 11 uh, one more strength than sniper and a ten percent more strength growth because quick draw gives you plus four damage. That um, is also true. Yes. Um, I, yeah, I quick draw is pretty good. good. Quick, quick draw is like quick draw does a lot. Sniper is the possibly the single most brainless physical combat class in this entire game, and that's saying a lot because <laughs> we have Wyvern Lord. I yeah. legit think that Sniper is more brainless than Wyvern Lord. Yeah, because Sniper is, is sniper. legit, like, I'm going to walk up, click the A button, and the enemy dies. And it's, and you always have 100 hit. That's the thing, too. Like, if, like, Conquest, like, that, that's, that's that Conquest shit. That, that's what you want. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I'm pretty, yeah, is, Sniper's yeah. better than Berserker, but I do this think is Berserker... I feel like yeah. sniper is, this, fight, this is why I feel like Sniper's better than we're giving it credit for, but, like, we'll, we'll visit that later. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking about it now, maybe, yeah... 
But yeah, we'll okay. revisit it later. Um, okay. Uh, Kinshi, I think SS. Um, I think is it. Mm. Yeah, I Listen, I'm, not, I'm not ending this fucking video with only two units in SS. That's that's mad. why I advocated for ninja in S. And no, that's why I advocated it's, for. It's, 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 it's gonna be a bow class, uh, Brainiac, whether you like it or not. not. It's either gonna be Kinshi or it's gonna be bow. I don't give a fuck what you say. I Kinshi Knight is only like like you only need flight for two chapters. It's only like chapter twenty, chapter. Yeah, but like, days. but you only okay. Let me put it this way: you only need flight for two chapters, but every chapter after that, having flight is like massively helpful. Yeah, you you always you want flight, even like, if you, you don't need it. You get past the terrain on twenty two. You get past the gap on twenty three. Like you fly airs on twenty four is obviously good. Twenty five, it's not as relevant. Twenty six is not as relevant. And there's a bunch of paralog where it's helpful, like Percy like... paralog, Valoria paralog, um, parts of forest paralog where you can just like walk over some shit faster. Um, Basically, any paralog with terrain, uh, like Ophelia paralog, for example, being a flyer is really helpful. Siegbert paralog being a flyer is huge. Yeah, uh, Ignatius, it's huge. I think that like the the the, the Kinshi Knight is the late game bow class that you want to be in because yeah. like, once once you're at the late game, the late game is where flying really 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 matters. I mean, I think I think the lowest it goes is like here. I think the question is putting it above Master Ninja. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you can't in one breath say that like Master Ninja isn't that good because you need certain stats to make it work, and then also put Kinshi Knight like. In but the thing is, like, there. but the thing is, like, with Master Ninja is that like the other option in the class set does not help you if you suck. Well, well okay, so that well that's the thing, right? Is, is... mechanist isn't going to help you out that much. If you're if you're if your stats suck, Sniper is absolutely going to help you out in every single aspect. Well, so, so that's the thing, right, is, like, I think the big difference maker with Kinshi Knight is, are you going into it from Archer or Sky Knight? Because Quick Draw makes a world of difference. Um, yeah, that's Like, the it. only... Okay, I actually forgot that, like... And in Conquest, that. specifically, a lot of units are getting Kinshi Knight from Sky Knight. Also, yeah, a like, the only way you get Kinshi okay, Knight... Actually, I guess there's some the only way you get Kinshi Ninja. through Archer is if you're Mozu, or if Mozu is giving it to someone. Like... But I mean, that's most of the ways you're getting into Kinshi Knight. Like, other than that, it's like, okay, let's be real here. We're not talking about Kinshi. We're not talking about Kinshi Shigure. We're not talking about Kinshi Selena. We're not talking about Kinshi Lazo. We're talking about Kinshi Effie. We're talking about Kinshi Mo Mozu. We're talking about maybe Kinshi Niles. And if you're Vex, we're talking about Kinshi Nyx. Or just what? Kinshi Korin as well, which I think you mentioned earlier. Yeah, Kinshi Korin is fine too. Oh, but like, okay. Maybe I'm just tainted because Reyna is the most awesome tainted. unit in the world, and I love her beyond everything in this world. Uh, but I, I feel like Kinshi Knight is fucking busted. Yeah, uh, that is facts. Like, yeah, Reyna, Reyna makes Sky Knight Kinshi look really good, when in actuality it's it's Reyna being really good. But... Yeah, I'm I I don't know. I think Dude, it's a flying it's a flying range class in conquest. Can we just like can we like no. get real here for a moment? It's a flying <laughs> range class in conquest. Can we please just put it in SS and move on? But is I it a flying on one to two range? range? If you wanted there to There is no yeah. flying one to two range class in conquest. Okay, yes, no physical one, I mean. Um Yeah, there's no there's not. Um now, I would okay. rather use hand axe than use a Kinshi knight. I, no, I, dude, I disagree. Would, I don't think you, I agree. You, with you know how it's Come on, stop the cap. You know that. Like, you've used bronze bow plus two before. You know that shit is the truth. Yeah. Just well, quick I, draw I certain blow bow fair like, in Kinshi is like. Like, 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 you mentioned Sniper being like, oh, the brain dead class. But like, once, like, when you get like certain blow and quick draw into Kinshi. It's the same thing, but you fly. Yeah, the difference between Sniper and Kinshi is that there's some units that can't make the tr transition to Kinshi easily. Um, but even then, like, the, the thing is, like, the, the Kinshi... Again, this is the thing that, like I said, Kinshi and Sniper together are much more than the sum of their parts. Because if you can't make Kinshi work, Sniper is still there and you will still be able to contribute. That's why I think Kin and I think Kinshi being the more like outstanding, like like obviously good version one of them, like means that it's an S tier. I would put I like I would put Sniper into S tier, but like that's again like we're because like, uh, uh, Sniper is just so fucking it's so fucking good, dude. Okay, right. but like here's my arg that. here's my argument, right? Sniper is yeah. really good because it's really good at killing one or two enemies on player phase. What is it doing on enemy phase? 
You you can do stuff well, with bows on enemy phase. Bows are a solid enemy phase weapon. Yeah, like, say, chapter, 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 seventeen, chapter seventeen. Chapter seventeen says hi. Snipers on that map are eating. Yeah, but that's no, chapter chapter, like, seriously. Even even other than that, the fact that sniper has plus ten hit means you could enemy phase tome users completely fine. You can enemy phase. I like, used them against the duelist blow master ninjas in endgame, so. That's yeah, you can, like for example, cool. let me let me let me let me paint a picture for you. Like, <coughs> even even on like chapter uh, on chapter on chapter fucking on, on Fuga's Wild Ride, you can bait all of the Kinshi Knights in one turn with a sniper and kill them, and you don't have to worry about dying because you're not a Kinshi Knight yourself. On uh, after Fuga's Wild Ride, Eternal Staircase, Eternal Staircase sniper is not really like the class that you want to be. It's obviously Kinshi. So it, like, it sounds like 22. the enemy phase yeah. applications. Yeah. It sounds like the enemy phase applications for like Kinshi and Sniper are a lot more specific and a lot more niche than something no. like say Master Ninja. Or so, so that's true, yes, but my argument niche would also Ninja be that Sorcerer, but Sniper is still helping you a lot on enemy phase. There's a bunch of Bolt knocking out of guys and Kinshi knights on chapter 23 and chapter 24 and chapter 22. How do their ranges also, line up? Do they line up in such a convenient way that you can put your sniper in like one yes, spot? Yes, because on chapter 22, the Bolt knocking out a person is past the fucking levee. You can just put them under the levee and you'll be able to deal with them. Oh, right. 22 has a lot of walls. There's yeah. mechanists on 22 too that are also past walls and shit like that. There's there's a lot of like combat through walls on 22. Yeah, like the army OGs as well. Yeah, 23, uh, and, and, and like against home units, just in general, you can do that. On 23, there's like the group of three snipers where if you one round them all, then you just like, you, you basically just took care of that pretty surprise, pretty tough uh, group of enemies really well. On chapter 25, it's fucking good. It's a bow unit on a, it's a bow unit on a shuriken da dominated map. Are you crazy? On chapter 26, uh, it's, it's less useful again, but still like, again, sniping from behind and dual striking off of units maybe critting the general stuff like that it's 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 a good class on player phase on 26 and not many classes are good on any phase on 26 to begin with i, I just, just think that like sniper is good player phase like it's just vastly superior like the brainiac scarf could get through conquest lunatic if you gave him enough snipers that's how good the class <laughs> is <laughs> Also, okay. kid, uh, there are some, like, Kitsune Lair, also, like, you, Sniper doesn't have the beast weakness, and you just, you just kill them. Like, you, like, uh, like mini bow, you, and you have the mini bow access if you want, like, specifically one range on enemy face. Because yeah. if you have one, like, against, okay, against one range enemies, you have the mini bow. Against two range enemies, Sniper is, blows fucking every class out of the water, because, uh, even, like, even, like, a sorcerer or something is not going to be as strong as a sniper because sniper has like they're locked to two range so they have high stats to compensate for that and they're against one to two range might, you, yeah you would much rather have a two range enemy to deal with a one to two range enemy than a one range than a one range unit to deal with a one to two range enemy yeah that is true um my brain is mush after that <laughs> i i also i think as we move on to the next one i think we need to start filling up the seats here let's talk about wolf segner Wolf Segner is not C tier. C tier is B. Wolf Segner is B tier minimum. Why? It's the again. It's another brainless class thing. Except this one doesn't have ranged it's, access. It's berserker. Why is like, the problem? It's berserker, but like with better defense, but also like worse no, no, skills. No, again, you're, again, you're wrong because it's not better defense. It's astronomically better defense. The defense of a berserker versus wolf segner is totally incomparable. Okay, okay, berserker, sure, but also worse so skills, way worse distribution. Like worse, dude, even odd, better odds is a good ass skill. Beast Bane is a I'm good ass skill. We, we talked about we just talked we talked about how the Hunter's Knife is fucking broken. Beast Bane is a good ass skill, and the mm. innate class bonuses for uh, the innate class bonuses for Wolf Segner give you plus ten hit and plus ten crit avoid. That That's is some nice. good shit right there. That's that, good eats. The innate class bonuses are nice. Also, Beast Bane is not nearly as good as Hunter's Knife because Beast Bane only gives two times effectiveness, and it's not one two range. Even if it does only give two times effectiveness on a Wolf Segner, any unit that can get into Wolf Segner has enough strength that two times effectiveness might as well be 1,000 times effectiveness because they're going to kill regardless. And the stones are strong enough that you will be able to double if you want to. Here, here's my also other question, though, is... Um... Your wolf skins, outside of, like, some weird, like, stuff with, like, Shigure or Kana, your wolf skins are going to have fighter. Like, that is always going to be the case. Are you really gonna wanna just like, unless you're doing pair up stuff, in which case like the pair up is the same as Berserker. Alright, you're cutting out a lot for me Oh, right hold now. on. Um, okay, does this sound better? 
Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's like if you're just using him as a parrot bot, then it's basically the same as Berserker. But in terms of combat, like if I'm trying to make like Valoria into a combat unit, I'm gonna stick her into Berserker. And like, I think the well, the thing is like Valoria. The fact that you don't have to make Valoria into a combat unit because she's a Wolf Segner, and Wolf Segner is a big ass stat ball that just walks around. It's like a, it's like the fucking ooze. It's like the oozium okay. from Advance Wars Dual Strike. It just walks around murdering enemies. It's it's slow to get the job done. Yeah, but it, but it, it death is inevitable against a Wolf Segner. It will happen oh. sooner or later. Okay, but like, the problem with Wolf Segner is that although it is a big ball of stats, that is all the class is capable of. <coughs> it doesn't have hand axe, it doesn't have effective weapons against anything except like horse slayers. So you don't have the hammer, you don't have the hand axe, um you don't have the dual you have club, innate, you don't have you don't have any weapon triangle. Also, also I will say yeah what not having not being able to use weapon triangle to your advantage it's kinda sucks because especially with Keaton, like Valoria has good enough skill to where like her hit's gonna be pretty good. And like she doesn't really need weapon triangle. Keaton's fine. Like like unless you're using beast rune, Keaton's hit rates are fine. Beast like Wolf Signer is strong enough that he he managed to like if you do okay hold up let me uh, fuck Veil CQ Wolf Keaton Segner like seventeen one a beast it. like if he just has a beast stone equipped at like level seventeen promoted he has a hundred and thirty hit. That's like some bow knight shit, dude. It's very 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 accurate class. That is okay. Yeah, you. you and his okay, base that's skill, true. His base skill is just genuinely good. It's his growth that's dog shit. But then when you promote, you get an extra free plus ten hit for existing. Yeah, and, and also like what, like plus. around like plus two skill or something. So plus two skill, yeah, plus two skill, and then plus ten hit for existing. And then you get the beast stone plus, which don't even get me started on this broken ass thing. Like this, uh, like uh, if you can get the B rank stones, it's uh, that's the regular beast stone please give me the beast stone plus the beast stone plus gives you six speed and eight skill the thing is like the class like yes you're giving up defense but you're never going to be picking a stone that's bad for your situation because that's dumb as fuck why would you if you if you need the bulk you're not going to be picking the beast stone plus but you might even be picking the beast stone plus because their you their defense is just so stupidly high that it might just give you more defense the beast rune is pretty decent, if a bit inaccurate, but it can help you hit one round threat, one hit KO thresholds. So if you double, regardless, like the two X effectiveness off the beast runes higher might might help you out. The beast stone regular is plus three speed minimum, and on Keaton, like that's gonna get him up to like twenty speed, and he's just gonna double enemies re regardless of what you have to say about it. I and also will say one thing, admittedly, that is in its favor is if you're in Wolf Segner, you're gonna have the wolf skin skills and odd shaped. People, people don't talk enough about odd shaped. It's literally just like quick draw on both phases, but like for half the turns. Like that's good. And also, like every single beast stone in the game gives you plus plus ten crit avoid. So you are quite literally never critting the wolf segment. That's that's like gold. That's like Xander level of crit avoid. I just yeah. think that Beast Stone is like I just think the Wolf Signal is so fucking easy to use. You can give it to a child and they could probably beat Chapter Twenty Two for you. Like Wolf Signal is so easy to use. You gotta. Put, I feel like I'm not putting it in like the. I, I feel like it's B tier. Like here, you think? I, I think it's below Hero, but I think it's B tier. I just don't think it's, it's fair to put it in C tier. That okay? That I is fair. And I'm I'm looking. There are definitely some down here that I think go in yeah, C. Yeah. So as for C tier class, unfortunately, in this game, Great Master is just not what it's cracked up to be. Um, I love Great Master. I love Great Master Azama. I love like I, I, I just think that it's it's a cool class. But in this game, the fact that your like one to two range option is Lance, like, you don't have the Bolt Naginata, it just really fucks with you. Like in Birthright and Revelation, you can get away with having Lances as your only axe like weapon type because there's actually quite a few good Lances. There's the Dual Naginata, Bolt Naginata, Guard Naginata. They're just good. Like like I don't know. What in else the to context say. Yeah. of Conquest, you don't really have to think about it, right? Because the moment you think of availability, you immediately put it in C or D or D tier, right? You yeah. are taking Corrin and you are making her Heart Seal class fucking Shrine Maiden. For what? So that you can take a unit that has 50 bajillion options for staff access and put them in fucking Great Master. You're telling me? Matter. I was There's the one no who had reason. to find out. I was the one who had to find out our Corrin was Shrine Maiden the hard way. Yeah, and also I will say, like, um, like, like to Lag's point, like, a lot of the good lances and fates are the are the naginatas, like the fucking there, guard the and the killer. bolt. There's the beast killer in conquest, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and like brave lance is that's okay, but that's but, just because it's but a brave, brave weapon. You can't use the brave lance because it's captive B. 
Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, yeah, and Great Master, like... I will say, I'm... the Great Master drip is out of this fucking world. Do you look at this guy's fit? True. Bro, it's fitted the fuck um, out. And in terms of skills, like, Counter Magic is, like, kind of a meme, but... Renewal's, Renewal's nice. Renewal's pretty good. Like, but it's not worth, like, picking yeah. Thorn's talent to be Shrine Maiden to do that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, like, what unit would... Like, what unit in Conquest are you making Korn's talent Shrine Maiden so that they can go, like, he can go into Great Master and be well, in it, or just to pick up Renewal? Like, why are you doing be, that? For be, what it unit? Could be a, uh, well, oh, I guess it couldn't be a, it would be a he, because it would have to be female Korn, right? Yeah, you're, uh, you're, it's either male Korn or female Korn spouse. That Xander Renewal strats go wild! No, Xander um, Renewal strat, yeah, instead of Soul, just do Renewal. What was that, Vex? I, mean, I, I used to have it as my profile pic in Discord. What, the renewal icon? No, 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 the Great Master. Oh, okay, okay. I like Great, Great Master, Daniel. but this is not the Great Master game. I, it's either C or D. I think it's, I, I don't know, I think it's like, better than I'm these two because, like, the stats are good. But uh, Yeah, I'm leaning towards C because, like, yeah, the, stat, the class bases it's, are just fucking strong. It is C because in the worst oh, case first. scenario, it can use a staff pretty good, and that's it. And as I for like not put it Priestess, over blacksmith, because blacksmith has stats. Does yeah, but Great Master has like really, really good stats, and the skills are also really good for what it wants to do. I would prefer blacksmith over mm. Great Master. I, d I, I just think that having staff access means that the floor is a <gasps> lot higher. Okay, let me put it this way. 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 Sure. Blacksmith means that Corin is. Specifically, putting somebody into blacksmith means that Korn is an Oni Savage, which is like, okay, sure, whatever, you're fucking weird, we get it. Putting somebody else into Great Master means that Korn is specifically Priestess, which is a pretty decent class, all things considered. Yeah, Priestess is definitely going a lot higher than Great Master on this list. Um, yeah. But the Great Master itself... And also, like, not. Renewal is, like, better than Salvage Blow and Lancebreaker combined, let's be real. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not better. Like, okay, it's like it's it exists. I mean, renewal on your healer is basically just live to serve, but like implemented in a different way. Kinda, yeah. Um, yeah. I just think. Listen, I, I understand why you like blacksmith because it's like hero, but like I think the opportunity cost for blacksmith is much, 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 much higher than the opportunity cost for um the great master priestess. I think priestess goes below wolf segner. Below like, I, I, Wolf like, Seg- Well, mm. okay, Cause, okay, let's be real here, right? Like, for all the shit that I gave, um, Zoran for making our corn Shrine Maiden, I mean, if you go Shrine Maiden, like, fuck it, we ball, right? Uh, if your corn is Great Master, like, male- male- if your corn is Monk Talent, then, uh, whoever you marry gets, uh, Priestess. Fucking Priestess Perry or some dumb shit like that. Priestess Selena. Priestess um, Camilla, <laughs> new meta. Yeah, no. Uh, like, Priestess is just a strong bow class. It's like Sniper, but without the sauce. You know what I mean? It's, well, okay, here's here's my argument is, like, I think it's either right above or right below Adventurer, because in terms of, like, stats, it is just Adventurer, but better. But, like, obviously then, you know, you can only get it through core and talent, so it's worse in that regard. But in practice, like, in terms of stats, it is just better Adventurer. Like... It has Rally Luck, which is really nice. Yeah, rally and also luck Rally is Luck is like actually pretty good. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm leaning towards like like right here. Um, I'm okay with that. Yeah. What are you thinking, Lag? Uh, he's muted. Oh. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. Like I I like Priestess a lot, and especially because like. If you're doing shining bow stuff, like actually, let me let me compare real quick, like the exact. I want to see the exact comparison between the uh, if. I'm sure. I think it's kind of awkward that we're just like placing all the Hoshiden classes like down. Bro, I mean that's what you have to do. It's conquest. What like, is, what is blood talking about? Kinshina is in the top tier. <laughs> But the master ninja like, is in the tier below that. Like, there's, there's, there's out of the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight classes. Three of them are Hoshin classes, dude. Okay, but like, why are we knocking down blacksmith for it? 
because there's an opportunity cost of your corn talent. The other classes that we have in the higher tiers do not have the opportunity cost of your corn talent. You're you. Master the only Knight way to it's it's yeah, like Master Ninja and and Kinshi Knight for one have way better actual per combat performance than Blacksmith, but also you can get them through Mozu and Kaze, which is way like better than having to pick. By the way, not even like it's not even like um hero corin where it's like you can pick fighter or merc you have to you have to pick specifically oni savage ah, i like the thing is like like i get what you're saying that it's a bit awkward and i would prefer it if this was like all three routes because i got a lot i got a lot to talk about when it comes to rev classes because i'd be using a lot of classes in rev but i i get it it's like yeah also yeah uh, i just checked in terms of um in terms of like class bases, adventure has one speed over priestess, and that is it. Priestess is better in every other stat. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, the pair up is also better for adventure though. Uh, general, um, I think it's C tier material. I think it's like definition of like C. Yeah, better than great master. Not, I'll like, say because but... this is not you're, we're not ranking general. We're ranking Benny. Like let's be real here. No <laughs> other unit wants to be specifically in general. Xander time. No. <laughs> no. No. Hero, no. Hero Xander is better than General Xander, let's be real. I am oh, so course, tempted to argue for General in D tier. Because outside of Benny, who the fuck wants to go General for any like, reason? Benny in general one is, good uh, reason. Benny, Benny as a General is pretty fucking solid. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But that's Benny. That's Benny being like a freak of nature with like whatever the fuck his stat spread supposed to be. 21 defensive give me, base. Give me yeah. one other unit that wants to go in general at any point in time for any reason. And I if mean, you like, say Corrin, I'm going to kill you. Uh, Effie, yeah, uh, yeah. like Effie, like before, like if you if you want to promote your Effie, but you don't have the A plus support with Mozu yet, you'll I you and you want the extra strength, then you'd probably be fine putting her in Brazil. I swear so Effie. Effie would prefer to be literally any other class. Also, I, agree, I will say... No, also, General just has, like, better growths than Great Knight, for example. So if you're like, if you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I fucked up my timings, I gotta put... Eff like, I want, I need to promote Effie this chapter, because otherwise she's gonna be fucking worthless this chapter. Uh, you would probably better rather put her into General so that she has the better growths in the meantime. It's like, a better HP, yeah. better strength, better defense. Not also, better speed, but she also has better skill. Um, but, uh, I think you would prefer that to, like, putting her into Great Knight just for the extra speed. Also, I will like, say... As a, um, if you're doing, like, backpacking stuff with, like, F like General Effie or Benny, the general pair-up is nice. Like, plus three strength, plus five defenses. Like, you put, like... Okay, fine. That's good. That's good enough for Cynthia. Okay. You put yeah, General like Effie on Kaze, that man is going Actually, to... You know what? I, oh, yeah, go for it. No, yeah. please, please, please finish. Yeah, no, like, if you put General Effie on Kaze, like, that's going to be... I believe it's plus five strength plus six defense like that like that is nice like i don't okay. think anyone's gonna argue against that Speaking